Oh, hi -o. Hey, why are you sleeping in the class? This is Richard, the sleeperholic. He can sleep up to 15 hours per day. Once he falls asleep, no one can wake him up. The guy on the left, he is JB. Although he looks childish, he is a good promise keeper as he values the relationship exchange between people very much. This is me, I am Calvin. Don't get it wrong, she is not my girlfriend but my classmate. Everyone say that I'm flirty. Do you think the same way too? And here we have the lecturer favorite student, he is Kasing. As you can see, he studies very hard during the tutorial. Here's the reason why he is the top student. Four of us are like glue, always stick together. We sleep together. Study together, fight together, and eat together. Not to forget, we even go to Wee Wee together. We are the four, the inseparable perfect four. However, do you think that we are very close and seem like never argue before? Ha ha ha, then you are wrong. Hey bros, I just broke up with Chloe. Cheer up bro, I've been single since I'm born. Have you ever seen me being upset? Actually, Chloe is not as good as you think. I have seen her hang out with a bunch of guys alone. She didn't look as cheerful while being with you. Hmm, I can prove it. I was with Kasing that day too. Chill bros, actually I'm not feeling sad at all. Now actually I'm feeling really happy because I can finally find a new one. Any recommendations? Have you tried picking up girls in our college? I heard they are all gold diggers. Yes, I picked up a good friend of mine the other day because she has no any transportation. If this is what you mean. No, no, no. Have you tried approaching them? Like going out for a date? Oh no, I haven't. That is why I'm asking for recommendations. Hmm, sorry to say that I do not think somewhere is a good place to look for girls. Most of them say that somewhere girls is bossy and slutty. But some of them really look good. You don't prejudge them just because they are from somewhere. Let me show you one. See? Wow, she looks pretty to me. She doesn't like the other girls that show a lot of skin to get lights. Ooh. Do you have any way to approach her? <laughs> My hair skips a bit when I saw the photos. I never felt like that before. Well, I'll speak of the devils, man! What is going on next? JB and Richard have promised to have a fair competition over the girl, but one day... This is the day when JB is going to meet an unknown client. He then realized the client was the girl they met before who called Kiki. Coincidentally, Richard passed by the coffee shop. Hello? Hey, where are you? Um, I'm now meeting with client. I'm now meeting with client. 
listening to you. Okay, bye. Oh. Then, misunderstanding occurs and their friendship turns out this way. Both of them gradually get further apart, even rendering each other transparent. Here comes the peacemaker. Hey, didn't you realize that JP and Richard are getting strange nowadays? I think something happened between them. Yeah, I realized too. This is why I asked you out to discuss about this issue. But what can we do? Whenever I ask for lunch or dinner in a group, both of them reject me. Mm, how about I ask JB and you ask Richard for a dinner tonight? Then they wouldn't know they are going to the same place. Well then, let's try. Okay. Eight. But the plan was failed. One day later Hey, the board of plan first. I'm rushing to airport now. We need to talk. Huh? What are you talking about? What airplane? Don't you say that you are heading to UK? I'm rushing to airport now. Are you stupid? I'm leaving next month. Anyway, you will still need a talk before it is too late. I think there is misunderstanding between us. Alright, I will ask you something too. Sure, why not? I will text you the location. Alright, see you there. Bye. Sir bro, I noticed that you have been avoiding me since you called me the other day. Is there anything bothering you? What actually happened between us? Yes, that is my objective today too. Remember what was the call about? Why did you lie to me? You said you were having an appointment with a client, but you were dating with Kiki. I thought we agreed on fair competition. To be honest, I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to clarify our misunderstanding. The day of my appointment, I was surprised to find out that she is my client. What a good excuse man. Such coincidence. I totally believe it. Yeah, I was going to explain to you that day, but you hung up my phone. I thought you were still avoiding me, so I didn't call you back to clarify. Do you take any step further? Is our competition still on? Ay, no, no, no. She's already taken. Seriously? Guess we have to move on. I need to apologize to you for my past behaviors because I misunderstood you. Are we still brothers? Yeah, sure, man. <laughs>
is a happy ending? Let's see. Summarize this video is about the uni life of four young boys who are JB, Richard, Kasing, and me, Calvin. During the semester, some issue happened between us when a pretty girl Kiki appeared. JB and Richard promised to have a fair competition between each other to win over the girl. But then, Richard felt betrayed when he realized that JB and Kiki were in a cafe together. But the fact is, JB didn't know that the client he is going to meet was Kiki. Hence, misunderstanding occurs. Although how hard Gasing and I were trying to solve the issues, both of them still treated each other strangely due to several perception error indicated in this case. I play around as Gasing. First, the perception error occurred in the video is clinging on to first impression. It is when the labels are attached, we form an opinion of someone, we tend to hang on to it and make any conflicting information to fix our image. In the video, the first impression of four of us toward Kiki are elegant and pretty. We are attracted by the way she dresses up. Later, JB and Richard are interested in her without knowing her personalities. The second possession error is influenced by what is more obvious. It is the factors that determine what information we select from our environment. In the video, there has misunderstanding between JB and Richard. JB told Richard that he is meeting with client, but Richard saw JB was with Kiki. Hence, Richard made an assumption that they are dating. After that, both of them started over each other and they even refused to meet each other until Richard said that he is leaving soon. The role I played in the story was Richard, the lazy guy. One afternoon, while I was strolling on the streets, I passed by a cafe where I saw JB and Kiki. Out of curiosity, I phoned JB to check out what he was doing. He said he was having an appointment with his client. I hung up the call immediately because I thought he was definitely dating with Kiki. This is a possession error called closure, whereby my character had a tendency to fill in missing information in order to complete an otherwise incomplete figure or statement. That leads to next possession error, which is present feelings and circumstances, whereby how I feel at the moment affects my possessions and influences my communications with others. At that point of time, I felt frustrated, disappointed, betrayed and upset. Therefore, I started turning my back on JB, avoiding and ignoring him whenever I see him, even treating him as non-existent. Hello everyone, I'm JB. In the story, the solution for me to end the issue is perception checking. Perception checking is a process of describing, interpreting and verifying that help us understand another person and his or her message more accurately. Perception checking can be divided into three steps, including step one. Description of observed behavior. Step 2. Suggest possible interpretation. And step 3. Seek clarification. In the video, I have applied perception checking on Richard in purpose to solve the misunderstanding between us. First, I met Richard in the university and described to him what I felt after observing his behavior. Then, I suggest a possible interpretation to him by asking him what is bothering him to avoid me in university. Next, I also seek clarification from him. Eventually, we found out that there is just a misunderstanding between us and our issue is solved. Have you tried approaching them? Like going out for a date? Have you tried approaching them? Have you tried approaching them? Like going out for a date? What was the call about? Why do you like to meet? You say you were having an appointment with Maya, but you were dating with Kiki. I thought you were. Do you take any step further? Is the competition still on?
呀，没有没有。